All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 Northern Lords Royal Court DLC Part 43, and it's a big one for a couple of reasons. First off, it is the 1st of January, 1000 AD, when we're starting this off. The Byzantine Empire has 137 counties, and Mutawa Khalid, 138. They are officially one county larger than the Byzantine Empire. Hungary is still going out of control of 47 counties. That makes them basically as big as France until they exp expanded into Spain. Bigger than Aquitaine. Uh, there's a lot going on. We're going to hold court. Uh, we have a payment from this uh, Earl Scully guy. Thank you. Uh, we're not going to ra ransom Jasper because we just need uh, our boy over there to figure that one out. He'll capture that back and then we'll win. And, uh, yeah, this is what our world looks like in 1000 AD. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Mali is overtaking Ghana over here. 15 counties to 17. I mean, 2,300 soldiers to 37. I think Ghana actually is the more powerful unit, more powerful domain right now, but yeah. Uh, so, also, Toblood made a good point. Moldavia belongs to the Ravenhearts. King Ethelward is of the Ravenheart dynasty. House hails by renown and by renown and goodness. I'm not 100% sure how we pulled that off, but we're here for it. Good catch. Good catch. And if I was a little better at paying attention in renown right here, it does say King Ethelward of Moldavia, Moldavia, point O2 renown from his court of so or something. But wait, there is more. Look at Italy. They all got fractured. The kingdom fell apart, and now they're all isolated on their own counties. Which means we can declare war on all of them. Just take them all out in one huge swing. How lucky is that? So, of course, we're going to be doing that. We're going to declare a holy war for duchy on this. Thank you. And we're going to be doing a conquer county on this. Because we got to spend some prestige some prestige, please. We can't declare a county on that, because that's Italy. We can declare war on that. We can declare war on this. Whoops. No, no, no. We don't need that. Just county. Thank you. We can declare war on this. I mean, look at this. And we're just going to mark our, march our way down. Every time we conquer a county, we're going to end a war. Look how many wars we're declaring. And they're all on the same side, more or less. I'm, I'm never going to see this bottom of the of the game more filled up than I am now, am I? <laughs> and some of them might have powerful allies. We'll see. Honestly, I'm not worried about it. That's got They've got a truce for some reason. Fair enough. Leave them alone. If they've got a truce, we'll leave it. I also want to declare war on these two, but we'll wait until we're done mowing our way down this line first before we do that. So look how many wars we're in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 wars we just declared. Plus our, uh... What a snorry to us. Our nephew is going to go ahead and win that one without us. Wow. Feels good. Feels good. And he is making gold per month, so I'll get money from him later. So we can uh, get rid of that one for now. Would you look at that? We could get these people involved, like I said. We don't need to. I'd rather them be strong on their own. We're fine. Let's go ahead and move the rally point over here. I did rush it a bit, but that's fine. We're going to raise everybody. And get ourselves off of one of these armies somewhere. There it is. So we can hold court. And let's hold court on the 1st of January, 1000 AD. Three people in a line. Okay, Podesta. Where is our husband? He's not here. My vassal... Oh, that's right, he's off to war right now. Duh. My vassal Podesta Riprondo tilts his head back before stepping forward to voice his petition. He's a Catholic, but he is a siege expert. My liege, I seek your aid in combating the issue of bandits harassing the modest people of Looney. Modest people of Looney. 
He pauses to sigh. I cannot fix the problem with the resources I have. I ask for an aid that you can spare. I give you some gold to solve the problem. My steward can offer you advice. Advising Legia's vassal for two years. Minus one stewardship and a severe health penalty. Why? That sounds like a lot. You're at fault for being so incompetent. Sort this mess out yourself. That's fair. A courtier poor Bjorn would make for a better steward. Um, fires Leo Garazi from his council. Appoints pure Bjorn as, it, as her steward. Leo grows closer to gain... Okay. Okay, but is, is he actually better? I mean, barely. You lose 30 opinion of Leo. And he's grateful for us giving him? Sure, I don't mind if you have pure Bjorn. Go for it. My vassal Countess Bjorg stands before me, a concerned expression on her face. My lady, I come on behalf of my niece Freya. A great name. She has been ennobly imprisoned by your kinswoman, Queen Kraka, for trivial and preposterous reasons. My heart bleeds from the miserable conditions which my poor niece must endure. Let Freya be free. You get a weak hook on Countess Bjorg and Freya Afvarde. Uh, Queen Kraka loses 30 opinion of us and becomes Countess Bjorg's rival. Okay. Kraka must have a good reason to imprison her. They lose 20 opinion of us. That's fine. Closer to getting a friendship with Kraka is cool. I will only concede her a small mercy. Is moved to house arrest. Uh, and everybody is a little more happy with that. I will concede her a small mercy. That sounds fair. I don't really know the situation, to be honest. A peasant steps forward carrying a petition. My liege, I come to you as a representative of the Cornish from the barony of Tintagel. The peasant briefly paused his rehearsed speech. Uh, our plea to see an important monument of our culture restored was ignored by the pagan. He is actively hindering us from rebuilding. Okay, both of these guys are... Oh, this is the pagan right here. Okay. My liege, allow me to explain, Ulfur interjects in a panic. This monument makes a mockery of our culture. It depicts manic as monsters. Surely you can see why I would oppose the restoration of such a hateful monument. Please, presence, cultural acceptance between the Cornish and manic decreases. Refuse the request from the Cornish. Yeah, I mean, too bad, guys. As the last petitioner departs, my business here is done. And there you have it. Nothing too too massive there. Uh, that's a that guy's just competent, right? Yeah, we didn't need a competent guy. Okay, now we can put ourselves back on back in lead of this here. Oh, gotcha. We'll we'll be back soon. And we will capture everything in one fell swoop. Just making sure I'm ready to hit play and lose the first of January 1000 AD. This is the this is New Year's Day of the new millennia. This isn't gonna happen again for a thousand years. Crazy. Ooh, look at Euland. Kind of coming along over there, isn't it? Igbo Banu. Anyway, I'm looking at Africa too much. There's so many fairly large places in India. 41 actually. That's not bad. I like their piety marker. That's pretty cool. Zungaria, 25, yeah. The counties up here are just so big that it looks they look bigger than they actually are. Yeah, all right. Let's get back to it. Uh, I did get a another comment from Ryan about Ireland to uh, get rid of some of the, modify their contracts so that they can't declare wars. Uh, I actually looked around at it and I can't do that until we have high crown authority. Vassals cannot wage war against other vassals unless they use a hook on their liege. So um, because if I do a modify contra feudal contract here. Vassal can declare war regardless of Legion's crown authority. This is... Yeah, I have no way of actually stopping them from doing that. But I did see the special contract scuttage, which reduces our levies but increases our taxes. You know, I, I might do that eventually. <laughs> that sounds really good. So this makes royal prerogative innovation actually a lot more important, which is actually another early medieval innovation. Um, right here. So that doesn't... That doesn't hurt. There's so many things we want. We want battlements, hereditary rule. Well, we don't actually want that. That's just happening. We want battlements. We want burrs. Um, we want mangonels. We want, I guess, royal prerogative comes next after burrs. That'll be what we write on next. Bailiffs, another domain limit wouldn't hurt. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff to take for sure. Household soldiers. I mean, obviously that's good. <laughs> but we need to get... I, I actually, you know what? We are pretty on top of our wealth now. We could probably do that too. Horseshoes, movement speed plus 10%. Just straight up. Even if we don't use horses. That's really cool. 
The High Medieval Era is not available till 1050 AD, and we need to have six more innovations by then. Uh, I don't, I don't think we're gonna be ready by 1050 AD, but thank you. Some places will, probably will be, but uh, there you go, Ryan. Uh, I am keeping your idea in mind. It was just not possible yet. Okay, I think it is time for us to finally hit play and take over a bunch of Italy. Gout ridden, still gout ridden. A little brighter, yep. Crazy that that's happening still. Join the Manic Conquest on the county of Taramo. Okay. It's this one. Still not much. It'll be fine. Another ally on the county of Orvieto, which is this one. Still fine. Greetings, my implacable liege. I've arrived in Ravenholm to pay homage to you, even though he doesn't like us that much. He's deceitful. He might ex okay. We don't need to sway him anymore. Yeah, we'll sway him next. There we go. Go ahead, show him in. And you gain 50 gold, what? I bring you rich gifts worthy of your majesty as a token of my goodwill and servitude. Well, thank you. Homage double entend. Uh, he kneels in deference as attendants bring forth his gifts of coin and precious objects. The oath is taken and scribes record his pledges to serve empire and men in the isles. Though the count has clearly practiced the Norse vows, she mispronounces several sections. She. I don't think that's she. <laughs> Humorously changing their meaning and leaving my courtiers stifling titters. Good effort, Tibaldo. It is not an easy language. He loses prestige for this? Man, that is just not fair to him. This man tried to do the right thing. He really did. Mm-mm. That is unfair. Ultimatum 15 months from that one peasant county. Okay, sure. Why not? Alright, there should be plenty. There's no champions gathered yet. Alright, we'll keep raising, I guess. Oh! They raised Holy Order. Mercenaries. Bought a bunch of mercenaries. Okay. True. Fair enough. Uh, what is that battle all about? Tall tales at the table. Oh, it's one of these liars again? Deceitful, yeah. Tail to tail, the saga continues each anecdote longer than the last. Uh, so there I was in the middle of the North Sea, longboat sink <laughs> sinking from too much bloody plunder. Well, I couldn't take it with me, so I jumped in the water and swam to Norway. That's a different lie. Maybe I'll read the lies, though. You simply must stay at court. This, these sound far-fetched. Ooh, only a 50-50. Do you speak well of our hospitality at your next stop? I don't need her to stay. She's not worth all that. And a bag of chips. Nah, you can go ahead. I don't know why they're fighting, but, you know, cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop them, I guess. Rip those guys. Rest in peace. These gathers are taking so long. Do we really need to go to sea to be able to get to that? Wow, there's no way to get there, huh? Interesting. Alright, we are finally gathered at long last. Long, long last. Let us move everybody into a capturing position. We'll lose 36 and 35, it is what it is. Here, hold up. Make this the 5,000 here. Make this us. And then Countess Alessandra has that one. Countess Alessandra. I mean us. Let's show them how it is. Oh, Algen Gualadot passed away. No longer our cupbearer. Okay. Need a new cupbearer. Here we are. Armbjorn is excellent, and our only excellent, so that's an easy choice. There it is. We're losing 50 gold a month during this big war we've we've called ourselves into. Medina's under siege. Yo, are you guys going to do anything up there? Jarl Elifer was taken prisoner by kinsman King Solvi after he won the Battle of Gulders. Interesting. Yo, Lotharingia, are you going to do anything about that? 
you're not even thinking about it? You have 2,700 men. Go win the war. Ryan, charmed vassal. As I walk outside, I'm greeted by the sight of my vassal, Reeve Nupa, crouching beside my cat, Ryan, tenderly petting his head. This is quite a lovely cat yet, my lady. You are very perceptive. Of course he is. He's the best. Better army commander, more commander traits, even though we have a bunch of levies. Yeah, it's just this peasant rabble. We're not worried about it. Look at all this, though. Wow. Yeah, we got a lot of land control to do soon. Oh, Jesus. Stop. Oh, God. Oh, no. Stop everything. Yep, we goofed. Toblun is leading this. Toblun, what's going on with you? Are you drunk? <laughs> He's drunk. Okay, Toblun, you're a drunkard now. Good for you. Congrats. Did they call Hori? No, they got 2300 mercenaries. They're buying mad mercenaries out here. It's a lot of mercs. Champ both Fielder, Ravenheart, Rip, Mikolaj, Milinski, Heart, Limb from Limb. They're screening very well. Hamlet's constructed in Kegliari. Good. Prince Torbran wounded people. Prince Torbran ripped the head off of Matus and became a berserker. He's just showing off right now. Okay, let's go for uh, fishing net weavers, apparently. Five twenty seven to twelve forty four. Yeah. That didn't go perfectly, did it? Let's go attack that. You guys split in no, don't split in half. Yeah, they got a lot of mercs together. Wow, look at these huge hires right now. Wasn't expecting that to be honest. They gathered a lot more and more quickly than I thought they would. Oh my good gracious, look at that! Plus 52! Slaughter them. They're strong. They might survive the early phase. No. The Alberg herd wounded Ambrosio de Grotto. There it is. That's one war down. To the biofilk here, Vex, may your years be short and miserable. So be it. 241 gold for making a killing. Damn straight. Alright, so you guys can go ahead and capture this stuff now. Those guys tried. Yeah, let's go here and then we'll go there. Captured a bunch of people. Sure, seven gold, why not? 26 to 126 for seven gold, sure. Captured Osticio, a marshal. Okay. We're gonna have a lot more prisoners again. That's just kind of how, how we do this, isn't it? Yeah, I know the domain limit's, limit's gonna go a little overhead, but that'll be fine. That's another war done. So be it. On to the next. Oh, yeah, this is exactly what I was hoping it would be. Just one after another falling down and down and down. Plus nine on this one, so they might survive. Yeah, they'll definitely survive long enough to not be completely wiped out. So bravo on that. Princess Rakiza was wounded. Oh, no. She'll be fine. Aggravated wound, too. Mundo finished the increased control and county task. Boy, do you have more of those to do, sir. Boy, do you have more of those to do. Look at this place. Look at our lands. They're in such upheaval. I mean, man. We got issues. Princess Rakiza maimed Giberto. Excellent. Another war down. Much faster this way. If we just take the war done when we can, even though I know you can make money this way. And then split off the huge levy chunk. There you go. 
89 more gold for making a killing there. Siege 1, enemy combatants captured. Jarl Burkhardt of Mercy was slain. That's a shame. Hate to see that one, but it is what it is, I guess. Chieftain Drosik of Radaria was taken prisoner. Wipe him out. Adalberto, the marshal. Okay. 35 more gold. We'll keep it up. Can we move there? I think we can, yeah. Yo, what are y'all doing? Bro, I did so much for you. Just win the war. Oh my god, now the County of Sane has another holy order. I don't know what this man is doing. Snorri, honestly, the dry. Dry in the head, maybe. How are you failing to capture that? Took the count. Oh, we already got the siege, too, so we can just ransom him and then end the war. 13 gold, man. Carlo joined the Manic Quest. Conquest. Force those demands. We are knocking people out of their homes left and right. And we're proud of it. Another 25 there. We'll catch him. We move fast. So do they, apparently, but we'll get there. Alright, quick detour, man. Quick quick detour. King Toblood created a cadet branch, Ravenheart Bruk. Really? Toblood, you made one? Oh, that's Britain. Okay, I was gonna say, what? Then I realized it said King, not Emperor, and it all made more sense. Negative 36? Yeah, try negative 9. Uh, I guess we didn't have an, a leader on that army group, my bad. That's loops on my part. Oops. My bad. You go capture that. You guys go deal with them. 42 casualties? Yeah. It's just... I mean, we should do that, honestly. Judith has given another birth to another son. A handsome, intelligent young boy. Elfstan would be great. Marlswagen. Kettlemunder. Sigtrigger. Marcus. I like Marcus. Marcus to the son. Take up Gaelic Mace was destroyed. No! What a shame. Better than Prestige. I, I guess, actually. Vassal Opinion's better than 8 Attraction Opinion, I suppose. Oh, he'll be fine. Seek Indulgences. We went a whole year without one of those, actually. Except, it's a thousand one AD. We should be able to do a hunt and all and a grand right soon. That's a thousand two AD. Call hunt and okay. Huh? Oh, ruffle feathers until gold falls out. We should do that. Develop capital also in a thousand one AD. Wipe them out, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take the 44 cash, please. That's fine. Oh, never mind. They're coming back. Go that way instead. Ooh, 2300 about to land over there. Okay. I see you. 22 to 126 over there. Faction disbanded. That's for the smartest. All right, wipe them out this time. There it is. Make a little more killing there. This will be done soon, actually. We might not have to do that. Lose those casualties, I mean. Another seek indulgences from Mayor Fulke. Another uh, rabble gave up. Good.
How does Angela might join the Manic Conquest? That's fine. Let them do their thing. Wait right there. We're almost done with the siege. Pedagogy. Certic. Increase this intrigue by one. Okay. Certic is looking pretty good too, actually. Disbanded. Uh, what do you just call my niece, you debaucher? Drifa, open up my beauty. <laughs> yeah, my jester of a... <laughs> A jester of a niece. Excellent. Here for it. Here for it. Duke Raimondo's culture to the same culture as you, Manic. Nice. Way to go, Toeblood. You spurred Raimondo to go all the way. He was a Catholic, like, French dude earlier. And now he's a Sachu Manic, the way things are meant to be. Love it. Here we go. I seized the Sisalpine Spear after the Siege of Ancona. Okay. Is it still a skull? Really? I'm actually shocked by that, but okay. If you say so. My dear sister, I call on you to... Okay, King of the Foolish. Uh, for the War of the County of Asturias de Santinia. Joins the Holy War as an attacker. No, I, I don't need. I don't have time to be getting in attacking wars right now. Thank you, though. Here comes of age. Both of my twins came of age. She ended up with 28 prowess and 23 intrigue. Whew! And her twin sister Asta. Not as much. Uh. I kind of want them to look very similar. They both have pigtails? Do they look the same? No, that's that's a whole different hairstyle. My bad. Long with ribbons. There you go. Uh, only kind of. Uh, ear. She knows a lot of ways to get what she wants. Most importantly, she's highly aware of the political implications of those who wants. Okay, they grow up fast. Okay. Oh, that's before her thing kicks in? What? Displaying a thorough understanding of the flow of gold in the wanderings of people, she even expresses a remarkable creativity in dealing with these matters. They grow fast, and she's a fortune builder. Okay. So she's a fortune. She's got 19 stewardship. She's got 28 intrigue. Princess Ear! I mean, come on. My daughter. Get her in there. She's so good. Wow. Wipe him out. And go wipe them out. 43 casualties is fine. Look at us go. To the implacable field cure Vex of Man in the Isles, I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the Northman Army conquest of the Yarldom of Flanders. Okay. Oh! The Northman army is making a move on Flanders, is it? 8,800 special soldiers, yeah. Uh, maybe. I think you'll be fine. Worst case, they get a Jarldom of Flanders, you know what I mean? It'll be okay. It'll be fine. I'm sorry. I know you're disappointed in us there, but we really do have enough of our own stuff going on right now. Prisoners can be ransomed. Not the same guy. But we could ransom him. The same, not the same guy. That's got a sound to it. Okay. Split off an army of a bunch of levies. And then we're gonna go back this way. Fort levels are just too high nowadays. We are over 10,000 gold for a little bit here. Look at that. Isn't that fancy? How's this looking? Plus 13? Toeblood might have that. I know we have this. How's it looking, Toeblood? Uh, better safe than sorry. Let's get in there. Oh, whoa. Never mind. Toeblood, change the pace. We're gonna have to go this way. Change the plans, I mean. Go win that. It'll be fine. This, though, was looking bad until we came over. 
All right, another ward done. What is that? This one? Okay. We have an air we could sell. Hey. Ah, hey. Oh, just ten. Seeds one. Enemy ally joins. All right, onagers team, go. 188, okay. Alright, you guys keep going on to the next one then. You guys go that way though. Okay, enemy combatants captured. Very good, another war down. Making it happen. Stewardship lifestyle perk. Ryan, rodent killer. As Ryan approaches me with yet another dead rat, I can do nothing but praise him. The castle's never been this free of rodents before. Keep up the good work. All right. And at any cost is now available. Yes. Okay, we really do need to leave this army in someone else's hands for a bit. Any logistician that can take over for a bit. There you go, Raimondo, our new dude. We have a lot of stuff we can be doing. Let's exchange prestige for gold. Sell trivial titles. And we can do that every five years. So good. Extort subjects. Our trinket. Let's check the weapon. I'm sure it's garbage. Yeah. Thanks for knowing. Talk to confidant. We don't need. Hunt and grand right are coming up. So is developed capital. So much is coming up in 1001 AD. Converted from Cisalpine to Italian, Count Gandolfo. Okay. That's a decision you can make. Oh, God, we're over domain limit. Okay, who are we handing off? Italy to. Romagna. So this is not Romagna. This is Italy. So we can actually hand... Actually, you know what? Our man right here, we're so proud of you. You... you You've really turned around for the better. You go ahead and take those. They're all you, baby. Enjoy. Alright, good. And then Romagna is going to belong to... Pyra doesn't own any land yet. She's unlanded and pretty impressive. I say we give Pyra some land. She's Craven though, huh? Sagas might be our heir, so let's not do that. Asta. Ear is very impressive, intrigue and prowess wise. Asta, God. We need to find some husbands, too. Family members can get married? Yeah. Prince Torbrand can get married again? Really? Interesting. Uh. Intelligence. He, on, he only is going to own a couple places, looks like, probably. Rocky, Gunhilda Rocky, no. The Elfkifu Rose? That's pretty good. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Send that. Send that. Asta? What can we find for you here? That's not a Ravenheart. Galindo is Herculean. That could be really good. 30 prowess, too. Yeah, let's do that. And then... Here. Mm. This is... I'm, 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 yeah, that's definitely inbreeding. It's gotta be. No way. No way it's not. Right? Who is Saga married to that this guy's still available? What? This guy's crazy good. What? Hold up. Who is Saga with? Oh, damn, yeah. Holy shit. Oh, I wish. I wish I could... I wish I could customize how she looks, but she doesn't look bad. I'll, I'll be honest. She looks okay. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, that's really good. There we go. Got some marriages through. 
Alright, continuing where we left off. Extort subjects peasants. The peasants of the Earldom of Galura seem to be doing better than one might expect from the taxes I've collected there. An extra contribution to my treasury should do no harm. Well, they will complain, but then is that not what old peasants always do? Yo, vex, chill. They will live through this, I'm sure, but they can do whatever they please as long as they get my gold. Control level goes down 100, yikes. Why are they never grateful for what they do have? County extorted. 300 gold and 20 dread? It's not worth upsetting them right now. So control goes down 100. That's not good. Dread and county extorted. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll do that one. We, have we actually have 70 dread. It's so easy to get dread. Uh, it's not October yet, so scratch that for now. Even though they come do not come with fiefs, the obligations associated with the titles you are offering for, for are more generous than I could ever ask for. Of course, I will honor such munificence with an appropriate gift. Reduce the feudal taxes to you. Pays 300. Okay. Interesting. Your acquaintance, Galindo and o married Princess Asta. Faction disbanded. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. I'll grace to take the hand of your daughter Asta in holy matrimony. I bet you're a lowborn dude all of a sudden got in good. Okay, we do need to still hand off these titles though. How's Vex doing? Ooh, she's really good, marsh like stewardship wise. She's just callous, ambitious. That's pretty talented, honestly. We might have slept on Vex a little bit, actually. Coflaith is looking decent for sure. Serdic, eight years old, looking decent for sure. Hmm. I want to. I want to keep my options open for our next heir. So let's give this to. Just the ear, perhaps. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give it to ear. Let's grant titles. Dun dun dun. And she can figure out what to do with those later. Dun dun. Those aren't those aren't Romagna, I don't think. Hold up. That's Romagna, the duchy. Okay. Yeah, those those were not Romagna. Good thing we didn't do that. Oh, we did give her that. Damn it. I messed up. No. All right. Well, we've already committed now. We're going in deep now. That's my bad. I actually did goof up on that. 16 right there. We captured the count. Good. Wrap that war up real fast. To the cocky, filkier vex, may your humors rot in your living body. This is negative 12 because they've been holding the war target because we've been busy capturing other people's places. That's funny. Uh, demand payments. Where's my demand payments? Just go. Here we are. He's getting more money. This one's fine. Judith. <laughs> That's fine. You're not going to make money anyway. Look at the gold climb. Prince Torbjorn married Leof, Gifu, Leof Gifu Rose. Your son Torbjorn and my acquaintance Leof Gifu will be joined in holy matrimony. All right. I pray that they together can find redemption, atonement, as well as happiness. Excellent. Lines form of Jarl Sorkvir of Lapland. I'll grace to take the hand of your daughter Ear in holy matrimony. Excellent. All right, you guys go capture that. You guys are going to go down here, and then that'll be it, actually. That'll wrap it up. Children of my dynasty. My daughter Pyra has given birth to two children. Hey, hey twins. Since the little ones are part of the Ravenheart dynasty, you should be blessed with good names. My daughter and my food taster. Hafrider is beautiful, intelligent, and robust. And he's handsome, genius, and Herculean. St what? What kind of lineup is that? This Steerbjorn needs a real name. Odor. Yet yeah, Varder, Svein. Oh my god. Aslak. Torgir, Torbjorn. Wow. What a what a dude. Searl. Toki. 
go with Bjorn. We haven't had a Bjorn yet. And then his twin brother, who is beautiful, intelligent, and robust, will be Uba, who are famous Vikings of the past. Bjorn and Uba, may you grow strong and wise. Damn, we gotta keep an eye on, on Bjorn here. Hold up. Uh, it was Pyra, right? Yeah, Pyra? My grandson, Bjorn? B handsome, genius, and Herculean? Hello? I almost have to match him up with, uh... What's her face? What's her face? With, uh... Coldplate, right? You would think? But I don't even know if that's allowed, to be honest. <laughs> They're pretty closely related. Yeah, I don't think that's allowed because of how closely related they are. Fair enough. That's probably for the best, because I'm getting pretty gross with this inbreeding stuff, to be honest. I'm just, I'm just, at this point, I'm just shooting bullets. I'm just like, yeah, that'll be fine. When really, I should be careful. Well, we don't have the scudded innovation. What a shame. There we go. Einar. He makes 0.6 gold a month. That'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Let's get in there. But with us leading, obviously. And then after that, it'll be October. And we'll be ready to go. 25 to 216. Captured a bunch of people, of course, like we always do. Seek indulgences from Mayor, Mayor Od, Odd. Except. Here we go. Light him up. Another seek indulgences. Go ahead. Wipe him out. Emperor Toblood wounded Count Nikolitsa. Captured Baroness Isabella of Gubbio. During the siege of Gubbio. Is that Gubbio? That is Gubbio. Yeah, so we can ransom her. We have that one anyway. We can still declare it. Okay. Voila. So be it. And then you guys can disband. We're finally at the point we can start disbanding. We shouldn't have disbanded the... No, that's the honor group. Okay. Count Googie Airman. Go ahead. 117 to 54, because there's no leader there. That's not good. You guys need somebody to lead you. There you go. Ransom accepted. Teobaldo was swayed. We'll do it one more time before we try to make our play. Fishing net weaver is done in Cagliari. Things keep progressing. And it is November now, so we do need to do that other stuff. Hound pens. Go for it. Hound pens sound fun, actually. Okay, they're going to be starving soon. We definitely need a logistician here. Go back, Ray Raymondo. 156 days, okay. Alright, so. Now that we're not leading something. You're at war. That's a shame. Uh, host Grand Right is a thousand two. Could call Hunt, but we don't need to right now. Oh man, really? Well, that's a shame. We actually can't do anything right now because we're at war. We can't develop the capital and then go on a hunt right afterwards to pay for it. Oh, I should have checked what neighboring ruler won what war. That's my bad. I'm... Ugh, damn it. Yeah, it's my fault. Wish I could get that one back. I can't believe he hasn't won this yet. That's crazy to me. Alright, we got that one. Okay, that's fine. Ransom the sister. Good. 24 goal. Oh, no! I messed up. Damn it. They have men at arms at everything. No, we can't win that. Yeah, I messed up. I messed up. 
by not having the military over there to, instead of moving it over that way, instead of disbanding it. Shoot! Yep, we're gonna lose this one. That's annoying. Oh well. It is what it is. Bye, levies. Good try. Man at Conquest of Inferno. Yep, so be it. Only three wars left. Kingdom of Romagna. This is a duchy right here, right? And Kona and all that. We'll start giving land to Asta here. Make sure she gets some land too. The twins can rule Romagna together. I think that makes sense to me. Change her contract to high, yep. Yeah. That's going to be a long battle. I've discovered that Jarl Raimondo's inherited contract obliges him to more than you have collected. Time to right this wrong. His feudal taxes are increased. Yeah. Do it. Thank you. Sorry to do you like that, Raimondo, but back to this. Get Aken back again. No, Aken is good. Okay. Man is good. Okay, so the places we directly take care of are good to go now. Yeah, defeat. Oh, wait, I led that? Why am I leading that? I forget. Oh, shit. That's not good. That was risky as hell. I'm glad nothing bad happened. I guess our prowess is too high for anything to stop us, right? We have minus 11 from old age. 51? Yeah, I guess that is kind of old, isn't it? No! <laughs> no, Phil Kier's actually getting, like, actually old. She just looks so young for her age. Look, look how she does not look 51. King Tyke is one against your kinsman, Prince Osolf. Uh, sorry. In the war for Prince Tyke's claim on the kingdom of Lapland. King Tyke has Lapland? Okay. Congrats. Now it stopped me again for some reason. A snake at court. I recognize the anxious look on my servant's face. She's here to bring me bad news. My lady, you must come quickly. Peg and Sif of Peterborough was just seen leaving the chambers of your beneficiary, Herowild. This can only mean one thing. Got him. Uh, King Ingemar won against Chiefess Roggenfrieder in the war against the Tyranny. Okay. Bash captured Leontos. Another faction, of course. There's always another faction, isn't there? A little suicidal there. Okay, we're happy for that, I guess. We'll ransom him because we're about to finish the capture anyway. Wow, that's really not good, dude. That is sad. That is really sad. We're starving in 60 days here. 170 to 105. 119 to 167. Alright, now we ransom him, I guess, for whatever he's worth. Yeah, what a shame. Got the wife, but it's not like he can pay for her. Another solid disband right there. Well supplied at six. Oh, yeah, stay there. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Yeah, disband this. We don't need that anymore. Why did I do that? I didn't need to do that. Yeah. We'll just take over this. There you go. Just waiting for the supplies to come back is all. A lot of supply delay here is huge, actually. Enough military power in seven months. Look at all this. Really? Teobaldo, how could you? Hamlets are done in Aachen. Okay. There they are, still sitting there. Yeah, we'll do that. Walls and towers.
Earl Dan won against your other neighbor, King Solby, in the Northern Army Conquest of the Duchy of Murray. Okay. <laughs> okay. I offered you vassalage. You'll accept soon. <laughs> You'll accept soon. Not worried about that one, that's for sure. Vassalize Earl Dan? Oh, yeah. With low obligations. But I'll, I'll just wait. It'll be fine. There we are. Alright, go capture this and end this. Take a valuable hostage. Okay. Gilberto's son and heir during it. Okay. Still over, yeah. So be it. Disband that. Why do we have 9,400 people here? I feel like that's more than I should have, but okay. Stop. Split this in half. That's a bit over the top, don't you think? In eight months, huh? Woof. And just like that, we are making money. Please out to the Chosen of Freya, okay. Nice. Minus one advantage, that's fine. Ooh, they have a lot of men at arms, don't they? Victory! They finally did it, did they? King Snorri got the contested county. It's about time you guys figured that out. <laughs> we won the war. Good. Got a weak hook on Princess... Oh, he did. Okay. We got 300 prestige and 100 opinion. So be it. Glad you won, Lotharingy. It's about time you pulled that one off. You know how many wars we pulled off at the same amount of time? Lax Laughs has slain the enemy commander. Okay. Lax Laughs brings back good memories. My son, my boy. My beautiful baby boy. Seek indulgences, accept. Alright, this is it. So, with that said, let's have uh, Queen Crockett take over for a sec. Actually, hold up. Siege expert, please. We've got to have some someone somewhere. Okay, just not available at the moment, apparently. Alright, whatever, sure. So, host Grand Right, 23rd of September. Very close. Develop capital can't do because we're at war. It's a shame. Snorri the Dry has died! He committed suicide. Wow, he won his war and then committed suicide, imagine? What the hell? Now King Inwer is... <laughs> okay. Good luck, son. Let me, uh... Hold up now. Hold up now. Get ourselves a king on that throne right there. Princess Vex? With King Inward? You won't do it. Because he's Catholic. Why are you Catholic? No, man! Why are you Catholic? And Snorri, why would you put someone like that on the throne next? How could you? Okay, hold up. We've been swaying this guy for a while. Let's demand his conversion. 74%. I trust that. Because I want to start doing this. Ryan's sensitivity. Vex this cat has to go. My husband, Emperor Toblood, is holding Ryan up by the skin of his neck, eyes red, red and nose running. I cannot stand this anymore. I can barely breathe when he is around. Oh man. Who do we want? Catholic, Catholic, Asatru. Louis Gerd will take care of him. There you go. Greetings, my implacable liege. I've decided to fall into the light and convert to Asatru. Excellent, Tiobold. Blessed be Odin. Now he's no longer in the faction. It's just gone. Oh, wow. I guess he's the one who started the faction, because it is just pff, into existence. 
That's one way to handle that. Nice, that went really well, actually. Compensate for my failings. Yeah, go for it. We got the muns. Got the good muns. All right. Greetings, my implacable liege. Another Catholic Sisselpine chick. I guess they like to go to Ravenholm to pay homage. Also, because the court is amazing, they want to see it. I, will, I bring you rich gifts worthy of your majesty as a token of my goodwill and servitude. Wow. These people are great. Homage. Double entendre. She kneels in deference as attendants bring forth their gifts of coin and precious objects. The oath is taken and scribes record her pledges to serve Empire men in the Isles. Countess Adelaida of Padua. Though the Countess has clearly practiced the Norse vows, she mispronounces several sections, humorously changing her meaning and leaving my courtier stifling titters. Good effort, Adelaida. It is not an easy language. I can't believe she loses gold to lose prestige. That is so rough. A snake at court. By the Loki, have you no shame, guards? Close to Svine, Ravenheart, who dislike adultery. My food taster. Yo, what? Bro, you're married to Pyra. Yeah, have you no shame is right. You're lucky I'm not Freya and I would do something a little more evil about that. I'm so disappointed by that. <laughs> Not enough soldiers. Okay. Clearly it says that because of the battle that exists. Yeah. Making a more, little killing again. Good. 12 months left. We're going to be starving before that happens. We need a logistician then. Go to blood. Buy us time. Ooh, it is time for the grand right. Excellent. Let the right begin. Getting stuck in. There was a commotion among the children today. Audra was attempting to preach among her fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Serdic intervened and did what he could to protect her. Never back down from a challenge, Serdic. Oh, brave for his first trait? Absolutely. Calm is also pretty good. But it's no brave, that's for sure. Two martial, three prowess, attraction, vassal, opinion, popular, opinion, virtuous. a boy, Serdic. Well done, well done. Grand right, the full moon rises. As the moon rises in the heavens, heralding her arrival. Alright, so which one are we doing? Thir 94, 90, 94. Let's read from an ancient grimoire this time. The old words are strange, yet they speak to me on an instinctive level. They weave an enchanting pattern, full of beauty and promise. My gusts, my gusts, my guests are utterly spellbound. As I close the grimoire with a dramatic gesture, their cheers erupt through the glade. Now that the main ceremony is finished, my guests and I are free to worship as it pleases us. Look how fat this dude is. God dang, Toasty. Bro, why are you so fat? He's not even technically obese. What? Uh, an intrigue lifestyle perk from Toasty. Do we want a single intrigue perk? Fabricate hooks. Fertility, seduce, torture, dread gain. No, I don't think we do. We'll try for Herbalist then. Nah, worth a shot. Until next time. May she watch over us until the next grand right. Very good. Now we're just waiting on this. Ooh, we can demand all kinds of payments right now. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, let's just take what they can give us now. Ooh, nice. 41 out of 50 on that one. Get the good ransoms too? That's right, we can ransom now because we don't have to worry about other stuff. Nice! 150 there, 15 there. I I, I do this like <laughs> I do this like I need the gold when we actually are doing so good right now. We really don't. But we keep doing it anyway, because gold? Over twelve thousand. Look at that. And all the factions are basically done. Yeah. Kingstein has won against Chieftain Petri of Pelamork in the county of Ostrog Deer. This thing is well fought over all the time. Alright, and this is just about, just about wrapped up. Child of my dynasty. My daughter Pyra has given birth to a daughter. Since the little one is part of the Ravenheart dynasty, she should be blessed with a good name. Oh, they want the name of Vex. Pretty, genius, and robust. This is such a blessed line. Oh my god. Coldplate again. Oz Ozrava. I don't know who that is, ancestor-wise, but I love the name. Ozrava 
Pyrus though tier. Oh my goodness. Here I was thinking I was going to use one of my kids for uh, leadership, but maybe one of those kids will just absolutely take off. Who knows? Damn. King Otis won against King Roderico of Galicia in the Holy War on the County of Asturias. Okay, Aquitaine has that land now. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Man, that situation. Rewal, our court poet. My poet, as he always does as soon as I am arranged, starts to declaim at me. Oh, you precious sunshine. It must be such a hardship to live life as one abandoned by the muses. You command armies, but you cannot command the written word. Has mankind ever witnessed a more exquisite tragedy? Yeah. Allow me to assist you. I could write some of your speeches for you. Tell me the theme, and I shall apply a beauteous turn of phrase. I am a poet, dude. I am blessed in the word. My words could use a certain florid infusion. Diplomacy, lifestyle, experience, king, ghostwriter, to... No. At times, I feel I am more poet than empress. I need no help. You gain the nickname, the poet! Close performing rivalry with Rawal. Yo, we finally got a nickname for Vex. Let's go! Vex the poet. Okay, nice. I love that we have a nickname, finally. Those are hard. Those don't come across very often. Very happy with that. Heck yeah, dude. That's huge. I love it. Ursus, that's one against Basilius, the Otis, the Byzantine Empire, and the Byzantine War for Gyla. Whoa. Someone beat the Byzantine Empire? Bro, you lost a war? What are you doing? <gasps> Defending against the Mutawakalid Empire for the Kingdom of Anatolia? They're gonna lose all that? <laughs> you better get your shit together, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're definitely gonna take that whole kingdom. The Byzantine Empire is falling apart. It's falling apart. Hostage captured. We finally got that. Okay. During the Battle of Urbino. Interesting. That is very interesting. I don't want to do five more months of capturing, so I guess we will let that be a wrap. Sure. To the cocky, filkier Vex, may your humors rot in your living body, so be it. Let's go ahead and disband all. Give uh, Asta the rest of her land. Uh, that's is that Romagna? No, that's Sicily. Okay. Eighty-three to three seventy-one. Okay. Ransom Mayor Boncant. We can develop the capital, plan the development, call a hunt to get rid of the stress, sound the horn. And would you look at that? Oh, I think we're looking really nice. In August of 1680 is when we get more powers back. Here we are. What a perfect time, too, because it has been about an hour. Vex the Poet. We got the nickname. She has over 20,000 unspent prestige, over 12,000 gold, over 3,000 unspent piety. We're out of control right now. And so is just Vex in general. She's so crazy good. Look at that stat line. That's just not even fair. She's lost 16 prowess from old age. She still, still has 38. And look at the man in the aisles grow. I can't believe this is happening. The Byzantine Empire, they c could very, very well lose that whole kingdom of Anatolia. This whole chunk right here. This is all going to belong to the Matawa Khalid. The Matawa Khalid are crushing the game right now. They are doing incredibly, incredibly well. They need to go more this way. That's, that's de jure their empire. They could go well that way. Wow. Crazy. That was a good three and a half years in game. Yeah, we're, we're going to pick up here. <laughs> awesome. I love how well we're doing. Um... Here's to hoping it continues that way. Uh, the papacy is becoming a closer and closer reality. I think next time we'll declare war on Benevento and Croatia. Take some more land. I don't know. Maybe we'll declare war on the Byzantine Empire right now. Try to take this while they're busy with other stuff. Hit them while they're hurting. You know what I mean? Maybe we will do that. But let's find out next time. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much. 
for joining myself, Vex, Toblood, the whole family of children, and the Ravenheart dynasty. All of us will see you next time.